Hey, what's up everybody and welcome to a new episode. In today's episode, my plan is to use VBA, Visual Basic Application and uh, how to extract data from the PDF. So I have two PDFs here and uh, I will open Excel. <coughs> It's quite a tricky one, but I am going to record the macros <clears throat> and show everyone how to use uh, query editor to extract data. So this is a fresh uh, 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 Excel sheet. Let me save this Excel sheet as um, data in the VBA drive. <coughs> So here it is. Also, let me <coughs> let me do create a macros. But before that, yeah, uh, I want to file and i want to change the format not in a macro enabled workbook and i will macro enabled workbook <coughs> and uh, i will name it as data extract yeah <coughs> <coughs> excuse me for the cough it's not because of corona but uh, something else okay uh, let me delete this one and open the macro enabled workbook here yeah let me select here let me go to the data and from file from the folder because there are two pdf files so even if i store 100 pdf file you should extract and refresh automatically that is the id and i will give a reference to to the pdf folder where two pdf are stored one can already see Oh, it, uh, it's a folder so let me give the reference to it <coughs> so the reference is done and now I will transform the data it is establishing a connection <coughs> I don't have to worry about anything here so here I have to transform the data and the query editor will open <coughs> the power query editor <coughs> excuse me and then I have to follow, I have to do some uh, basic steps. Uh, first, I will delete this folder path. This one, this one is not needed. I don't have to open this one, the record. But what I will do, I will open the content folder and click these two arrows here. <coughs> it will uh, establish a connection to the PDF and it will uh, create certain automated steps for combining the pdfs and it will also show a sample uh, uh, sample tables uh, and which table to come it will it will it's going to ask me a couple of questions in this way what i will do <coughs> if i select this then in the first sheet uh, this is the type of data is there in, in the first pdf in the second pdf here it is taking the there are two pdfs it is taking the first pdf uh, that is the reference number 9744 and uh, <coughs> the first pdf here has a reference from 9744 so it is considering that one as the first pdf and then it is showing the contents of the first pdf as a sample file so if i click on this one then it will combine the first page of the first PDF and second first page of the second PDF as well. 
but I want to combine everything here. So I will click on the parameters, click on OK. <coughs> now it will start uh, combining everything. It is creating, it created a parameter uh, one as a reference. And then the output query will be, yeah, the other, this is the output as the name of the uh, table it created is PDF. Uh, and then it uh, did some transformation steps automatically. Now I have to open the data set here by clicking on uh, clicking on this arrow in this column and click on OK. So rem please remember that. Okay, so these are the steps that I have to do, but I forgot one thing. And uh, the thing that I forgot was to start recording the macros. <clears throat> I have to go here and click on record macros. Enable extract, let me name it like this, this workbook, okay. <clears throat> and now I will uh, continue the same, exactly the same steps that I did before. From PDF, open. Uh, but before that, let me check. No, uh, is there anything in the launch query editor? Okay, there is nothing in the launch query editor, so that is okay. Now I will continue. I will repeat exactly the same steps that I was doing before. Let me give the reference to this, and then. I have to click on transform data, then in the transform data I have to delete this column and then I have to click on the double arrows. And then click on. I have to click on the double arrows here. Click on this one. And then click on the parameter. Click on OK. It is evaluating all the queries <clears throat> it will do some transformation steps automatically for me and then it created a table for me that is in the that is the pdf the last step that i have to do is click on this one double arrows click on ok now it will accumulate as you can if i go down it is it accumulated it extracted all the tables that is given in the two PDF files, then I have to close and load. <coughs> it will show me all the call, all the, <coughs> the PDF table that is created. As you can see, this is the PDF table. I will close this one, I will insert this. And then the last step is to stop recording. Hurrah! So this is, so it created automatically a PDF for me. If I enable the extract, as you can see, the code is the VBA code is automatically created, and that's it. So this is how uh, you can create, you can use VBA to extract the data from uh, the PDFs. Thank you, and have a nice day, guys.